how I summarize Arteta is he come in steady to ship eighth, mm. had a whole season eighth. Say no more. That's it. That's him, isn't it? You know what mm. I mean? What more is he going to do than that? He's had his whole season. When he come in, he steady to ship. He finished eighth. What? I don't know what 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 more I'm expecting from Arteta now, really. Let's go in order, actually. Let's go Man City versus Arsenal. So, Maher and Big Kez, you're both Arsenal fans. You've both yeah. experienced the highlights of 6-0 versus West Bromwich Albion, but you've also had the lows of um, the last two Premier League games, uh, especially the Red Star and CM Emirates. So, did either of you go to the game? Or, um, are you going to be going to any games this season, Maher? Because I know you were a member, but I know you that um, you were thinking of bringing your membership back or are you still not going to go for it? I think the last game I went to was probably Spurs at home when... Mm -hmm. Oxley, when Oxley Chamberlain was still at the club and he scored the equaliser against them, that's probably the last time I went. Um, I've been so disillusioned with the club, so I don't see I don't see myself going back to the stadium anytime soon. Um, I don't know with Arsenal. I just feel uh, <sighs> like it's not the it's not the team I used to love and follow. It's uh, it's just it's a different feeling. It's not. It's just I don't know what I don't know how to describe it, man. Like I watch Arsenal and I'm like, yeah, meh. It's like there's no passion for it. There's no passion anymore, man. It's like. And then I, when I see um, players like Bellerin still there, Xhaka still there, uh, who else? El Nini and all, all these players still there. And I'm like, nothing's changed, man. We've still got a technical director who's incompetent. We've got an incompetent manager at the helm. I don't know why he's still there as well. Um, and yeah, we've just got... It's a, it's a total mess, man. I'm not, I'm not confident with the Nazi game. Even though De Bruyne is out of the game, it's not going to make a difference. I just I have no hope for this game at all. Um, the six 0 win against West Brom. We played at West Brom under twenty three kids. Mm. Um, we're not going to take too much in, nothing into that, but yeah, it's just uh, I'm, I'm probably like a two three 0 I don't I don't think we'll get thrashed. I think we'll put up a fight, but I just don't, don't see us holding out. I think we'll be like two three 0 yeah. Uh, because how do you see the season going for Arsenal with uh, Mikel Arteta at the home and, and Edu as your technical director? Do you really see any changes in the last couple of days for the transfer window? I mean. You guys have spent a lot of money this season, 132 million in the transfer window. But I think everyone's kind of in agreement. Like you spent the money, but do you really need to spend it on those type of players? Do you really kind of need to go for first team starters as opposed to um, the younger talents? Because that centre midfielder you got, Lukonga, Lukonga, yeah. he, he showed some fight against Chelsea. He's good. Yeah, he's, he's good. I like him. I like him. He's yeah, referred by Thierry Henry as well because he was a uh, the Belgium assistant yeah. coach at the time. And Vincent yeah. Company as well. Yeah. And Vincent Company at Anderlecht as well. So yeah. he's got a bit of fight about him. He's, he's someone that I would like to see a bit more of in, in the comings in the coming couple of years. Him and Partey in that midfield would be quite good. Quite a solid uh, midfield, I would say. But yeah. um besides that, you've got Ben White, you've got Ramsdale, um, you've got Odegaard back as well, because but how do you kind of see the signings that you've made, do you reckon they are the ones that are going to take you back into Europe, take you further up the table, or even to win like a domestic cup or something this season? First of all, we're in for a long season. I'm not really looking forward to the season at all. Um, I don't trust in the manager. I don't doubt that he was a great coach and he may one day become a good manager with better players and whatnot. But I don't understand this faith that's been put in him, like where he can just do whatever he wants and there's no repercussions. Like for me, since he's come in, He's made the team worse because of his ego. He's loaned out players that are better than what we've got in the team. Yeah. For instance, the likes of Guendouzi, Saliba. I, I don't know why I've not oh. seen Saliba. Everyone's raving about Saliba. I've not seen him in an Arsenal shirt yet. But we spent oh. 50 million on, on, on Ben White. It's just, Arteta's just doing some madness. He's just getting on my nerves. Um, <laughs> Edu, I don't know what he's on. I mean, I can count on one hand. The, the guy's on holiday. The guy's yeah. on holiday like 24-7. <laughs> if you see I the mean, pictures on his Instagram. <laughs> Bro, yeah. I can count on one hand the number of good signings he's brought. I thought he was going to bring through some new Brazilian talent. We've got Gabriel and um, Gabriel Martinelli. For me, I don't know what this guy's on. But yeah, Arteta, I think his, his ego is too, it's too big. Like, I don't get it. Like, for too me, big too soon, I think, yeah, as well. Yeah, a lot of the managers I look at with ego, Mourinho and Pep and whatnot, they can show you what they've done. Mourinho can come with the three Premier League titles, respect me, and, and champion, I've won Champions Leagues, and Pep Guardiola can say the same. Arteta, I don't know what you can tell me you've done. Like, FA Cup. Ship, do you know what I mean? Mm. And even that, though, if you look at the FA Cup, he won that play in the back three, being difficult to break down and whatnot now. And then, back three, yeah. bro, it, it, do you know what, even what makes it even worse? Like, if we look at it, so he, he chose uh, Burnt Leno over Martinez, right? Yeah. Wanting to play out from the back. Burnt Leno is not that keeper that's great with his feet. Like, if you wanted to play, Martinez was a better keeper there. Another howler. 
bro, I can go and ask it all day, but for, I'm not confident. To answer your question, I'm not, I'm not really confident on the season. Um, I get the whole process of going for younger players, and I like the fact that they're going for that. But okay. at the same time, you do need to bring in some experience with the young players. Against Chelsea, it looked like men against boys. Mm. You know what I mean? We need some leaders in there and, and some big characters to go with the youth so that the youth have got something to aspire to. At the minute, it's just a bunch of kids with a lot of potential, and there's some good talent in there, yeah. but it's not fine. It's back to Europe. So. You know what? Some you know what sums up the recruitment. Yeah, is right. Ben White is a very good, be a good player for us. Yeah. But do you know what sums it up? Ben White has never played in a back four. Like I'm pretty sure, like his whole time at Brighton, he's played in a back three. Yeah. And the first game against Brentford, Arteta plays him in a back four, and would you know he gets ruined by Ivan Tony. Yeah. It's like, what do you expect Ben White to do? Like I can't blame Ben White for that. Like yeah. the the geezer's never played in a back four in his whole entire life. He's used yeah. to playing in a back three. Arteta signs him and he plays in the back four and he gets done over like that. So I don't understand what the strategy is, man, from yeah. here, from Arteta, but also from Edu. Like uh, Edu, I just the guy. I don't know what his um. I don't know what his resume was when he got the job. He, he was what Brazilian FA technical director. He's never had any like European sort of expertise before. He deals with Kia Drapchi and who's like his lapdog. Like I don't understand where this club is going, man. Um. It's just so, oh, man. We can't even get players out of the club. I mean, yeah. we, I'm, William might go to Corinthians, but it's like, where, when is the next week is when um, a deadline day, isn't it? And we still yeah. got yeah. Bellerin at the club. We've got Jacques has signed a new contract. Um, who else is there? El Nenny's still there. Bro, like, holding, you... holding is given a new contract by Arteta. Don't, remember that. <laughs> or holding, Rob Holding, who was nearly sold to Newcastle last year, he's got signed a new contract and he's pony. Yeah, I feel like he, any guy that talks back to him, he just ships, ships them out. Because mm. Saliba, like, exactly, yeah. Yeah, any guy that talks Gwendoza. back to him. Like, yeah. yeah. How can Gwendoza. he be in the team and Saliba and, and Gwendouz is on loan? Yeah, yeah. Do you know what it is? Do you know what it is? It's because those are young players and he doesn't like the fact that, oh, these young players, yeah, they're getting too big for their boots. But, like, it's a good thing, isn't it? Like, when you're young, you're, you're showing a bit of personality. And he doesn't yeah. like that. He wants yeah. he wants the squeaky clean, um, Emil, like, Emil, like, Emil smith is a good player. I love him. But like he wants those type of players where they're like yeah. they, they won't chat back to the manager, they'll do their job. There's no like that's what he wants. Because he's a young manager, he wants he's a school teacher. of the young players. A school teacher. School teacher. Yeah. 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 Yes, yes, sir, no sir type players mm-hmm. like Saka and Emil oh, Smith Rowe and, and that as well. But really realistically looking at Arsenal this season, like I know for a fact you're still gonna beat us and you're still gonna draw to us. So that's why I've just kept quiet. But I know for the rest of the season you may yeah. you may struggle in the Premier League, but it's the fact that you don't have Europe for the first time in a year, in a couple of years, like you don't even have Europa League, so you can just focus on that weekend game every weekend. Uh, you've got the League Cup coming up as well. I, I forgot who you're playing in the third round, but Wimbledon. Wimbledon, so that should be a, that should be an easy win, I, w- I would imagine. Um, but realistically, looking at the season as an objective point of view from myself, I reckon the signings you've made haven't been good enough. Probably one or two will shine through. Ben White, he was third choice centre-back at Brighton behind Duffy and Dunk, so it's just the fact that if Brighton... Um, sold him for 50 million. Why didn't you get Bissouma, in my opinion? Because I thought Bissouma yeah, would have been yeah. the best he, he weren't a fair choice, though. They, mm. they shipped out Duffy on loan, didn't it? He was playing. Yeah, it's true. Duffy's only come back from loan still. Don't they? That's true. That's <laughs> don't true. do us like that. <laughs> I, I, I thought I'd get a slight one in there because Ben White was out a couple of seasons ago against uh, when he was at Leeds as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but no, the way, the way I see it is the fact that if you're going to Brighton and you've got 50 million in your pocket, you'd go for someone like Bissouma who had a really good game um, a couple I'll see. bro I'll especially see, yeah. when you've got you've already got Saliba mm. like you might as well give Saliba a shot and, and put the 50 mil towards yeah. Bissouma but uh, yeah and even I when you've got all these players on available like Sal's available uh, Ruben Neves is available from Wolverhampton as well like the manager said he's, he's up for sale but yeah. there's so many people available that I thought could have gone to Arsenal to make them be- uh, bigger and better but um, even players like Reese Nelson like, I was really excited when Reese Nelson came back from Hoffenheim He's barely in the squad these days. I know you got nine subs, but he's barely getting any game time. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to be quite sad because he went out the same time uh, Jaden Sancho went out to uh, Bruce Dortmund. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. he was doing just and as they're, good they're at very close friends. Yeah. 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 He's doing just as good and he's We've, barely getting any game time. And know, Joe Willock's gone to Newcastle as well. So that's another creative attacking midfielder that I wish could have done really good at Arsenal, but now he's off to Newcastle where they play five at the back and he's going to have to how, save them all the time. How I summarise Arteta is... He come in, steadied the ship eighth, mm. had a whole season eighth. Say no more. That's it. That's him, isn't it? You know what I mean? Mm. What more is he going to do than that? He's had his whole season. When he come in, he steadied the ship, he finished eighth. What? I don't know what, what, what more I'm expecting from Arteta now, really. 
Because that's that's what that's when you look at the managers that are available. Like I see Antonio Conte available after his turmoil turmoil at Inter Milan, where they didn't back him. They knew that they're gonna have to sell Lukaku and Hakimi, and Conte was like, "No, we can't have this because we want to challenge for European titles again." But Conte being available, I know he's ex Chelsea, but realistically, he would be an upgrade from what you've got at Mikel Arteta. You may play defensive football, you may not be playing the most attractive football, but you'll be getting results. You'll be challenging for European places again. Do you guys kind of agree with me on that? Or do you reckon there's another manager out there or do you reckon Conte would be the ideal replacement for Mikel Arteta? I would get I would get Conte in, but it's never going to happen because Conte, with Conte, every club he's been to, he's always had disagreements with the board. And I don't mm. think the Conkeys would like that sort of authoritative figure, like bashing them all the time. Um, Conte would also cost a hell of a lot of money, so I don't think that would happen. I would love him to come, yeah. but I just that, that's a non-starter. Um, yeah, with with regards to Arsenal, it's uh, I don't know. I, I don't know if you've seen there was a news about this Qatari investment that might buy Arsenal. Oh yes, I'm yes, just yes, yes. I, I heard you see that. that? that. Is like, is like, oh, I'm ready yeah, to buy so, Arsenal or something. Some, and some Qatari billionaire has went out and just tweeted a couple of things about, like, oh yeah, I might buy Arsenal because I'm an Arsenal fan. But so. he's um, they they're like they they're worth billions, bro. Like they're like 300, 400 billion. And, it's the prince of, um, is it Bahrain? Is it Bahrain or is it Qatar? I can't remember. Which I, one I, think, I don't think it's Bahrain. I think Qatar. it might be Qatar. Qatar. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I, I, I'm just... Kez's it, eyes it, just lit up there when you said 300, 400 billion. Nah, like, I, we could I, be I believe, saved. We nah, could be saved. Bro, I believe when I see it, but these men have just zapped the life out of the fans, man. It, it's mm. painful. It's painful to watch every week. It's draining. But yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> hey, man. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't even I don't even wear the shirts anymore, man. Like I can't I can't I can't wear I can't wear the new shirts. I'll wear the I'll wear the nighty shirts. Yeah, like big kids, yeah. yeah. I'd I'd happily wear the Ian Wright back in the day shirt. Yeah, because like, he, he's like he's Ian Wright in it. But like yeah. when I'm wearing when I, when they're um, releasing new 60, 70, 80 pound bloody kits, yeah. That blue one with that personal little designer. I'm not, I'm not, design I'm not, as well. I'm not wearing that. No, I hear that. And the yeah, kids are always lit as well. It makes it even more annoying. <laughs> they always live. and also the, the cannon's the wrong way as well I don't know why they changed the cannon but yeah, yeah. rebranding rebranding right there from Arsenal 